Welcome back. Our next guest is the king of tabloid television. For 27 years, the Jerry Springer Show never stopped shocking viewers. Well, now he's laying down the law and stepping behind the bench in his latest TV project, Judge Jerry. We'll take, we'll do, okay, I don't want to hear any more. Sir, stop because talking. Because I'm the judge, that's why I'm telling you. I'll walk out. Get out of this court right now. All right, oh, oh, tough Jerry man. Springer. No, I'm normally Welcome. not like that. No, I'm not. I, really? No, no, no. I, mean, <laughs> I don't scary, yell at actually. people. No, you don't. That scared me. <laughs> actually, when we shot that, uh -huh. and then afterwards, the crew back, because they had never in all the years seen me, you know, I just don't yell at people. And they said, oh, my God, this is, yeah, we, we don't like this. So how, how did this come about? I was drinking. Okay. No, <laughs> no, actually, um, uh, sh I, Sean O'Boyle, who uh, was the head of sales for, is the head of sales for NBC, he came to me one day about a month before my regular show uh, stopped taping, mm -hmm. and he says, hey, I got this idea. What about Judge Jerry? Because I started out being a lawyer, and why don't you do that? So I, I'd say it was 12, 14 seconds before I said, yeah, sure. Why not? So this is kind of neat. It's the first grown-up job I've had in 30 years, <laughs> and I get to be a judge and use whatever I learned in law school and practicing law. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. I didn't realize you were a lawyer. You went to Northwestern. And yeah. these are, so these are real cases. These are real people. So you're really, it's in your they hands. They are. And frankly, I didn't know this when I first started. But these, yes, these are cases that are filed in any of the 50 states. We have stringers who... Every morning they get up and look at what cases have been filed in their region that the day before. If it's interesting, they call the plaintiff, they call the defendant. Would you like to have your case adjudicated on national television with me as the judge? If they say yes, we fly them to Connecticut. So when they file these cases, they don't know they're going to be on television. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know I have a judge show. So it's right. not like, oh, let's do this. This is real and the consequences are real, whatever decision I make. That stands. They can't then go to a court of common pleas and get an appeal. So I have to be Take serious it. about whatever decisions I make. You know, Jerry, I have to ask you, the Jerry Springer show was so successful, and I should say it was distributed by NBC yes. Universal. It also was controversial. And, and, <laughs> and most recently, there's a wrongful death lawsuit. A guest who appeared on your show yeah. took his own life. I wonder now, as you sit here and you look back at the legacy of the Jerry Springer show, is there anything that you would change about it? No, I think what was really the only good thing about the show, or at least the th part that I thought, is that it was the first time we really saw regular people on television. When people criticize the show, if you're honest about it, they're not criticizing what they're talking about because celebrities will do the exact same thing. Celebrities will go on the late night shows, they will talk about who they've slept with, what their life has been like, what drugs they've been using, what misbehavior they've had, and we can't buy their albums quickly enough, we can't go to their movies quickly enough. Why? Because if you're rich, if you're famous, if you're good looking, we give you a pass. The things that, how many times do people take these talk shows and they say, oh, these people are trash? No. Maybe they didn't have the same luck in the gene pool of parents. Maybe they don't, didn't, weren't born with the same brain. They didn't get the same education. But we're all alike. We're not better than these people. We just dress better. But let me ask you this. Oftentimes, it was regular people just beating each other up. <laughs> I well, mean, sometimes, regular people don't do that all the time. Well, let me tell you. You get a professor from Harvard who teaches English. He comes home one night, and he finds out that his wife was sleeping with a next-door neighbor. He sees that. You think he says, oh, my gosh, dear, forsooth, what have I found? Please get out of the, of the bedroom. No. He throws something. He gets angry. He probably starts cursing. I'm telling you, we're all alike. It's, it, we get a moment. The peop, these people are coming on television when they choose to, purely voluntary, and they talk about what's going on in their life. News never does that. What news does, news does the same thing about telling about people's lives, but they never ask permission. A newscaster never says, you know what, if this story makes you feel bad, if this story hurts your family, if this story ruins your reputation, we won't run it. No, news just plows right through. At least on these talk shows, it's all voluntary. You choose to come on the show. You decide what you want to be talked about. And I find that much more democratic 
than what we do normally in the media. Well, we'll get more of that coming up on Judge Jerry, I'm yes. sure. If we've a little snippet, we should. Yeah, I didn't mean to get so serious. No, that's oh, part yeah. of it. Sing some <laughs> songs. Yeah. No, too late. Yeah. <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> that's right. Like that's a... Kumbaya. <laughs> Kumbaya. Judge Jerry premieres on Monday, Kumbaya. September 9th. Check your local listings. We'll be right oh, back. God.